Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you strength, quantize in Reaper. Now the purpose of strength quantize is going to allow us to quantize on many notes, but not completely or hundred percent. So it can retain some of the original performance in the finished product. Let me give you an example. Let's say I'm recording a piano part. I have a piano track right here with a VST instrument already installed. I'm going to play it from a USB MIDI keyboard down here. Let's give it a shot. Now let's hear it back by opening up the MIDI editor. Now it sounds pretty good, but it's not perfect. So if we want to quantize it, we'll go up here to the quantize button and hit it, which opens up the quantize dialog, which defaults to quantizing based on our grid, which is set to 1 8 right now. We could also change it to manual and change it over here. Let's put it back to grid as eighth notes will work for this part. It's set to all notes and position, so it's going to quantize all the notes, just the position, not the note end. Or note length. But if we keep the strength at 100%, it's going to sound like this. That sounds a bit sterile to me, as it's perfectly on the grid. So instead, let's try out Strength Quantize. Open it back up, and instead of using 100%, we could bring it down and use a bit less. If we bring it all the way down to zero, we're not quantizing at all. That's the original performance. But if we bring it up to 50%, we're now quantizing half as much. So if our note is off by 10 ticks, it's moved by five ticks to be closer to the grid, but not perfect. And you could also choose under manual to just move to the left or the right. But in most situations, we want to move both if the note is early or late. So with 50%, it's going to sound like this. The performance still sounds in time, but it's not as sterile as 100%, like this. And it's really noticeable on chords, because right now, if it's quantized completely, our chord is exactly on the grid, so it doesn't flam or play at different times. which is not naturally how you play. When you play a chord on piano, each note should be slightly in a different place. What I originally played was this. It's quite a bit off. We could bring it up to make it a bit closer, but not perfect. Let's hear it at 75%. Still sounds better and not quite as sterile as 100%, but I think I preferred it at 50%. While it still retains 
some of the performance, but it's a lot tighter or closer to the grid. We could also quantize different sections, different ways. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's say we're like 50% on the first half, but 75% on the second half. We could do that. Let's select from bar one to bar five, all these notes, and just choose selected notes and adjust it to 50%. Then we can select the second half and set that to 75%. And that's going to sound like this. With the second half a bit tighter, but still not perfect. So we can work in sections, or even go note by note by selecting those notes. Let's try the same thing with drums. I'm going to add a drum track that I created with a track template down here. Insert track from template. And I'm going to play a drum part on here. And once again, I probably want to quantize this a bit. We'll double click the MIDI editor to open up our drums, which sounds like this. But it's still a bit sloppy. So we can quantize it right here, all notes, position at 100%. And it sounds like this. But if we think that sounds too perfect, we can add strength quantize to keep some of the original performance. Just bring it down over here. Let's try 50%. That sounds pretty good right there. It still retains some of the original performance, but it also quantizes it a bit closer to the grid. And it's completely adjustable based on the performance or even based on selected notes. So that's pretty much it. That's strength quantize in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.